There are five elements of music. The first element is that of sound. All music requires sound, therefore we wouldn't have music. There have been some composers that has tried to create pieces of music without sound other than the sounds that we hear in the environment. But for the most part, music is created by organized sound. Sounds are created by pitch. A pitch can be high or low depending on the sound waves. The faster the sound waves, the higher the pitch. The lower the sound waves, the lower the pitch. I always use the example of uh, Papa Bear is a large animal. His voice is low. He has a very uh, slow frequency of sound waves, whereas Baby Bear, his pitch is very high. Also, part of sound is dynamics. Dynamics is where the sound can either be soft or loud or somewhere in between. When we speak of these types of terms, we do not use English because the universal language for music is Italian. Uh, mezzo means medium, loud. F would stand for forte, which is loud. P is piano, which is an Italian word meaning soft. And there are different varying levels of these dynamics. Dynamics create the emotion in music. It's what makes the hairs on your arms stand up. It's what makes you have chill bumps. It's what makes you buy the recordings. The second element of music is rhythm. Rhythm is the way music moves. Uh, rhythm has uh, two parts, particularly the tempo is the speed of a piece. It can be presto, which is an Italian word meaning fast. It could be largo, which is an Italian word meaning slow, the root being large or slow. The second part of dynamics is meter. Meter is whether the music has a strong or weak beat, which all music is going to have a strong or weak beat. For example, um, the pulse of this particular piece, the Star Spangled Banner, is Oh say, can you see by the dawn's early light. There's a pulse to it. That is called its meter. The third element of music is melody. A melody is the same as words in a book. Notes have to be organized for a melody to make sense. Words in a book have to be organized for the book to make sense. Notes can run smoothly. In other words, a note can uh, be presented and then the very next note is just a step up or maybe a step below. That is a smooth melody. But if you have a melody that's disjunct, your first note may jump seven notes above, maybe nine notes below. That is a very disjunct piece, which would be very difficult to sing. Um, you need really a combination of smooth and disjunct melodies for the piece to make sense. It needs to have a balance. A melody in our country is based around a scale. It is based around the major and minor scales. Those scales go into detail in your book. There are different kinds of scales, but in our country we prefer major, which are happy sounding pieces, or minor scales, which are sad. The fourth element is harmony. Harmony, uh, the best way I can describe it, it would be you can't be in harmony with some person if there's not a person. It's the same thing with music. You need to have two or more notes involved to create harmony. Harmony is created by something we call chords, and these chords back up the main tune or the melody of the piece. Harmony produces depth, whereas just a melody would not have any depth to it at all. The last um, element of music is texture. We have three types of texture that we will talk about in this class. The first being monophonic texture. Mono means one. Monophonic texture is where everyone is singing on the same note. There is no harmony, no background music. It would be, for example, like everyone is singing a Gregorian chant. Polyphonic texture is really the most complicated. Polyphonic texture is where you have a single melody entering in and then another group of people singing another melody that is equally important, but it comes in at different entrances. You may have five or six entrances, and the more entrances, the more complicated the music. And last but not least is homophonic, which you can think of that as being harmony. Homophonic is what is very predominant in our culture. It started in the Baroque period with Johann Sebastian Bach, where uh, they began to put 
backups to a single melody. There weren't all these individual melodies. There were one, there was one melody backed up by a group of instruments.